we ready for some Action. rock and roll? Yep. Welcome everybody to the Now Lately. I'm Leo Dedalus, your intrepid host, and my guests here today are Courtney Von Drail of Three Leg Torso and Kazue Suzuki, and I should say Suzuki Kazue, actually, correct? So hi. Hi. And uh, I think that we need a little intro theme song. Hit it. Have you ever played in, in Hungary? We haven't played in Hungary, but it's good that you mention it because Bela is a first generation American. His dad is from Hungary. But for those of you that don't know, Bela is our violinist in a, a five piece band uh, violin, cello, accordion, assorted percussion, a double bass, and a bunch of percussion, as I mentioned before. That made it about seven people, but we've had to cut it down. And how long have you guys been? When did this start? Uh, probably around 19. 97. And now this is kind of, it's like, would you call this a side project or is this just for fun? Uh, you two. I think we go back and forth on that. Yeah. 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 But, but we do have an official name. name. You do? Vonnie and Kaz. Vonnie and Kaz. Okay. Yeah. All right. And we good. printed business cards. Seriously? Yeah. But, uh, do you have any? No, we don't have. <laughs> uh, we have uh, in my uh, melodica case. In your melodica. You have some. Okay. Yeah. One of the reasons we started this was because we were going on a world tour. Yeah. Uh -huh. To Japan. Okay. And and I never met Casway's family, so yeah. this was a bit of a loaded situation. Yeah. So you needed business cards because in Japan that's kind of pretty important. Well, I didn't think of it that way. That's <laughs> 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 but but I thought it would be fun to go busking. Yeah. And uh, and so we looked up online and discovered that it was illegal to go busking. But are there places you can busk in Japan? There. Well, yes, but. Uh, but people might come and ask you to move along. And we discovered, you know, busking, as, uh, as I'm familiar with it, is partly, well, it's, it's about having fun. That was our main yeah. intent. But it's also about earning money on the street. Yeah. And, and Japan, as you know from your geographical explorations, is not a tipping culture. Yeah. So yeah. we had to make a, a special sign in Japanese on our case saying, I think, that we were on our honeymoon and that we didn't have enough money to get home oh. and please contribute. Okay. Did we make a sign like that? Uh, in fact, it's different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she told you it said. Well, <laughs> what we said is we flew from Oregon to uh, Tokyo, but then we lost our money and we have to swim back ah, okay. to America. Oh, okay. So we need a contribution. Okay. And did you actually make anything? Yeah. Yeah. We well well, you know, um, there was one gentleman who was on a first date. Yeah. And and he felt the need to impress uh, this woman that he was with. Okay. And he gave like kind of the equivalent of about a twenty dollar note. Uh. And then there was one kind of creepy guy that really liked Casway. <laughs> uh -huh. And and he uh, he gave her and kind of held on to her hand as he gave it to her about 50 cents. Okay. Yeah, all right. yeah he grabbed all his cha changes, yeah. coins, and he, like, he kept staring at me all the time. So that's a hard-earned uh, 50 cents. Yeah, yeah. So it was most challenging. Do you have anything that you want to play right now that you would play if you were in Hungary? Uh, 
Yeah. We do. Oh yeah, we do. We do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit epic. Yeah. It's epic is good. This show is epic, man. So we uh, we know this piece that's a uh, Hungarian dance. Yeah. Chardash. <laughs> It's a temperamental yeah. instrument. Yeah. We went to Japan, as, as previously mentioned, and we bought, this is like the Rolls Royce of melodicas. Okay. And yeah. yeah. And early on in the sound stage here, Kaz said it was the Steinway melodica. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's true, because that's a better analogy. But we, uh, but we noticed like a good Steinway, it needs constant attention. Yeah, yeah. And, and that uh, we found that we had to retune the whole thing. So you actually had to retune this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By hand. Mm -hmm. As and, a teamwork. Yeah. And it's but it still sticks. Sticks but, because that's a different there's, story. Yeah, because that's a different story. Moisture gets in inside and getting um, yeah. thicker. Yeah. So that the key is sometimes stuck and uh, that was happening when we were playing music here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that has it. You need to just be playing in like the desert. Yeah. Right, somewhere nice and dry. That's true, but with a lot of passers-by. With a lot of passers-by. Yeah, right. like I get a desert, maybe a convenience store. I want to shift gears and I want to ask you a little bit about some of the projects that you're, that you're up to. My imaginary sure. teleprompter oh, yes. is flashing Hitchcock 9. Hitchcock 9. Hitchcock 9. I'm so glad you asked that, Leo. Good. <laughs> I think I was it's almost like we arranged this ahead of time. <laughs> it's almost. true. It's true. Well, Hitchcock Nine is uh, there's nine Hitchcock silent movies that have recently been restored and uh, are traveling the country as as a group. And and actually, and how long are the? Films? They're all feature length films, made between 1927 and 1929. So like 90 minutes to two hours kind of thing. Yeah. So th wow. this is like it's a as Bill said. Well, one of the things you have to practice here is endurance. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of music to support the film. And the tradition is that a silent movie, you know, would have music all the way through. So mm -hmm. it's not like mm -hmm. you accompany a certain scene and then right, hang right. out for a while. So thinking about how to do that. And these, these films are going to be from October 12th to October 27th mm -hmm. down at the Witzel Auditorium. You know, it's, a, it's an experiment in and of itself. So we expect there'll be plenty of good stuff, mm -hmm. but the nature of the experiment is, you know, there'll be stuff that you're probably waiting for the next bit to happen. To. Right, just like on this show. <laughs> no, I, I've done uh, film music for quite a while. Uh, originally, at, at one point, I won a fellowship to go to Sundance and study with various film composers and, and directors and then returned here and worked on a, a film called The Final Inch, which is a, a documentary by Irene Taylor Brodsky, 
about the eradication of polio. Mm. And that was, uh, one, she's a great director, and she really, uh, she, pushed, she pushed us hard. It was me and my friend Georgiana doing the score. And, uh, but in the end, we did great work. We got nominated for an Emmy on that score, and right. the film got nominated for an Oscar. So yeah. that, was, uh, that was good. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. really good. We do do, in, in three, like, I do a bunch of storytelling, and as I've, as I've gotten to do it, you know, sometimes you're doing a concert, and the concert is going fine, but, yeah. but there's certain parts of it you enjoy more than others. Yeah. And I realized, hey, I'm enjoying this storytelling part quite a bit. Like, as I think about it more lately, storytelling, I mean, we all end up telling stories about our lives. It's, it's the... We, we frame everything as if it is a story. Mm -hmm. And it may or may not be a story, but, but storytelling is kind of key to our understanding of culture. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. And have you done any storytelling uh, in your, in your uh, busking days? Did you tell any stories about him I that he did. wouldn't understand? <laughs> Next time uh, we should try that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell us one now yeah. in Japanese if you like. Yeah. You can tell us something that he doesn't want us to know. So, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. You hope. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Um, well, I'll keep you posted. How did you guys meet? We met through our uh, common friend Kyoko. Well, so she said, "Hey, I know uh, some uh, a guy who is a musician. Are you interested in meeting up?" And I was not so interested in that time. <laughs> but okay. But then you saw this shirt, and it was like, "Yes, absolutely." Yes. <laughs> oh, I never. I hang out with the kind of guy who. Wear yeah, fashion like yeah, this. Yeah. Um, so Kyoko gave me email. Okay, here's his email. Email him. And then I said, I never emailed a stranger. And I tried a little bit typing, but I didn't know what to say. Mm. So I did not email mm. to Courtney. Yeah. Mm. And meanwhile. Meanwhile, she had said the same thing to me. Ah. Yeah. And um, when, I. When was this? This is uh, about 2010. 2010. Okay. Yeah, or nine. I think nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. But then I uh, and I felt the same way about emailing a stranger. Uh, uh, I think I, I feel like when you say it, I feel a cultural difference, and I feel like when I say it, I just feel shy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but eventually, one night I decided, okay, I I email Casway. And I think my goal was to uh, just say something ridiculous and, and kind of be myself. I, I, I was at a point of being single and realizing, you know, it's, it's easier if you're just yourself and whatever happens as a result. That's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. This is a little lesson here. So, so and then Casway wrote back... Uh, Robots yeah, I yeah. said that you are the winner uh, who was uh, eating the three buckets of lettuce fastest. Yeah, I won the three buckets of lettuce eating contest, and and, and then I said that that woman's pretty good sounding. Do you want? Do you have anything else you want to? We you want to play? We would love to play another song. Do you maybe know a song that you you'd like to sing? Because yeah. we could maybe we could do one together. Here. Oh man, uh, so you know only if it's kind of. Blue and depressing. I can think of uh, I can think of a song that might fit. The, yeah. Uh, do, let me see if I can teleprompt you. All right. You're cheating, huh? will make you weep He'll cry and cry and try to sleep But sleep won't come all through the night Your cheating heart will tell on you 
when tears come down like a falling rain. You walk the floor the way I do. Your cheek and heart will tell on Minkins, performance artist, showman, and writer. Thanks, guys. Oh. Okay, I tried to, I tried to get it.